Hey, what is going on everybody? My name is Ness and it has been a while ago and uh, yeah, I am back again with another video and uh, in today's video I'm gonna be talking about uh, investments because uh, on the 14th of February EA tweeted out that the upgrades aren't done yet. They will have another batch at the end of the month, so at the end of February and uh, yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna tell you who I will be investing in and I have invested in some of these players already and I will invest in the rest and uh, yeah we are gonna go from small to big, so I'm gonna start with the most cheapest one, and it, it is Gary Maydell. Uh, and uh, a little while ago, you know that uh, EA upgraded uh, loads of players like Suarez and Benatia, and the second form Suarez went from 800,000 coins to like to like 1.4 million. So uh, he he got like a price increase of 600,000 coins, and second form Benatia uh, went from 70 k 70k to like 110,000 coins. So you can make some some decent profit by uh, investing in these players and in these informs so uh, yeah let's just uh, start off straight away and the first player is this uh, Gary Maydell guy and uh, yeah I think he will get an upgrade because on head to head this guy has actually got a plus five plus five uh, increase so he went from a 73 to a 78 which is uh, which is kind of really kind of uh, ridiculous in head to head so uh, yeah, I'm sure he will get an upgrade in, uh, in ultimate team as well then we have uh, Alexandre Lacazette, who is the second top scorer in the in the league uh, in French league, uh, just behind Slatan Ibrahimovic, and uh, he he actually had an had an outstanding season. He uh, he got a plus two in head to head, and I do think that he will get an upgrade in, uh, an upgrade in ultimate team as well. And he's only like twenty five thousand coins, so it is worth investing in. Then we. Uh, then we're gonna move on to Gervinho, who uh, who has a pretty decent season uh, at AS Roma, and he did get a plus three upgrade in uh, in uh, in head to head as well. So I do think he will get a, uh, a very decent upgrade in ultimate team as well. And uh, yeah, why not invest in him? He's only forty thousand coins, so uh, I don't think he will drop much more if he doesn't get an upgrade. So you can always sell him on and maybe lose out a bit on tax. And uh, yeah, that that I, I I don't think that would make um too much of a difference to not invest into him so I will be definitely investing into Gervinho then we're gonna move on into uh, Blaise Machuidi who also has an outstanding season uh, at PSG this year and I do think he's gonna get an upgrade he has had two uh, two informs already and he has had a plus one upgrade in head-to-head -head, which is uh, which is pretty much um, uh, a certain player to get an upgrade as well. I'm not too sure about it because EA might just ignore him since uh, PSG have a lot of big players already. But yeah, I do think he he's gonna get an upgrade, so I will be investing in him anyways. Then we're gonna move on to Giuseppe Rossi, who is uh, I think second or third in the Italian league of top scorers, who also has a very good season at Fiorentina. He has had one in form and he also got an upgrade in head to head. And uh, the reason that I'm talking about the head to head upgrades is because uh, EA basically did the same. Uh, According to the first batch, uh, basically all the players who got an upgrade in head to head also got an upgrade in ultimate team. So that's why I am like basing it on that. And I got, uh, I heard it from uh, f from a Dutch friend of mine. He found that out uh, through one of a forum or something. But uh, that doesn't matter. Giuseppe Rossi also uh, a pretty decent uh, candidate to uh, to invest in uh, because yeah. I mean, look at those stats. If he if he won't get an upgrade, I don't think he will decrease. As I said about the rest, then we're gonna move on to uh, Jesse Rodriguez, who has an awesome, 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 uh, awesome season at the uh, Real Madrid this year. He's playing very well. I mean, Cristiano Ronaldo is not playing because uh, uh, I think he has been he has been off for three games because he uh, he got the red card against um, Atletico de Bilbao, and because of that, he cannot play three games. And Jesse. Uh, Rodriguez um, is playing because of that and he is actually performing very well and he's just he's just like basically carrying uh, Real Madrid he's just playing outstandingly and he also got a plus four upgrade um, uh, on head-to-head -head, so he 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 is gonna become a gold if he does get an upgrade and he's also uh, uh, up to 80,000 coins now and if he actually does get a gold upgrade he will be very rare because he won't be out of uh he won't be coming out of packs anymore well as a silver version then and uh, yeah he will increase a lot and we're gonna move on to the next player which is giovanni dos santos who also had two informs i also got an upgrade in head to head and um well if you guys do want to take a big risk i would invest in him but i cannot recommend him too much i will be personally investing in him but if you don't want to take a too big of a risk i would not invest in him but yeah it is a nice candidate then uh we're gonna be moving on to david alaba 
he is, uh, in my opinion, the best uh, left back in the world at the moment, and he has had an inform, and he has an, and he has had an upgrade in head to head, and uh, he's around 180,000 coins now, and it is worth the risk, um, in my opinion, because if he does get an upgrade, he will be very expensive. He'll be like, he'll be like over 250,000 coins because he's gonna be a very good card, and he's gonna be the best left back in the game, and I know he's gonna be very expensive. So uh, yeah, I would be investing in Alaba. And uh, I do recommend you should as well. Now, then let's move on to the to the to the next card, which is Stephen Calker. He has had two informs, a silver one and a gold one, and his upgrade will be a gold one if he does get one. So this card will be going up. So invest in him. He's only like for forty to. 40 to 50,000 coins now, so he's not too expensive yet. But if he will get an upgrade, I think he will be even expensive, uh, even more expensive if you take a look at his stats, which are very nice. But uh, yeah, moving on to the last card, who is the biggest risk you could ever take, which is third in form, second in form, and first in form, Aiden Hazard, who are very expensive. But I'm nearly like I'm 99% sure this guy will get an upgrade uh, on Ultimate Team. I mean, his season has been outstanding. The hat tricks he scored, the goals he scored, the plays he makes, the runs he makes. He's he he just has been an outstanding player for Chelsea. And I do think he's gonna get an upgrade. But uh, yeah, boys, that's about it. I'm gonna be investing in this in these players. I'm not too sure about Hazard yet because I don't have the coins for him yet, but I will be investing in the rest. So uh, yeah, these are the the investments I will be investing in. And uh, if you guys do want to follow me, be sure to follow me uh, with my investments. And if not, well, I've just given you my opinion. Who's gonna be getting an upgrade and uh, who's not? But uh, yeah, boys, thanks for watching. Please do leave a like if you guys enjoyed this video and you found it helpful. And subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll talk to you guys all next time. Peace.